what's up beautiful people it's your boy Gideo and I'm back again with a new video today we're going to be checking out a very interesting video with a very interesting title I'm going to read it out to you it is titled what black father blast critical race theory at board meeting in viral video so this title and like a clip was trending at a certain point in, on the social media I didn't get to watch it though and it popped up on my screen i'm excited to check it out today and you're going to be checking it out with me so stay tuned brace yourself for this one disclaimer full disclaimer if you don't like what this person says feel free to click away because <laughs> i've not seen this video before i'm not sure what he's going to be talking about but you know feel free to click away and drop out but if you enjoyed the video let me know if you don't if you're comfortable enough sharing your thoughts on the video feel free to drop your comments in the comment section and without wasting your time, let's get to it. When you talk about critical race theory, which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other, how to dislike each other, that's pretty much what it's going to, that's pretty much, I don't care what it's pretty much what it's going to all come down to. You're going to deliberately teach kids, this white kid right here got it better than you because he white? You're going to purposely tell a white kid, oh, the black people are all down and suppressed. How do I have two medical degrees if I'm sitting here oppressed? How do I get, first of all, right? <laughs> Two medical degrees, no mom, no dad in the house, work my way through college, sat there and hustled my butt off to get through college. You gonna tell me somebody that looked like all y'all white folks kept me from doing that? Are you serious? What's sickening about this whole thing is what y'all doing right now is already something I do in my community right now to speak out against stuff because black folks are getting told by other black folks, oh, you know you ain't gonna be able to do nothing out there in the world because them white folks ain't gonna let you get no, oh, you know you're not gonna be able to do it here because- you know, That mindset alone is keeping a lot of black people from, from a lot of things they can, a lot of things they can attain. I'm not saying there is no racism in the world or no discrimination in the world, but that mindset could actually be hurting you because you tend to recognize racism, racism where there is no racism. I've had lots of opportunities that came from white people and from Asians. Like, I can't even be racist even if I wanted to. I can't even think about the theory in my mind even if I wanted to. So I just always urge people to keep an open mind. And once your mind becomes so open, even when there is racism, you don't see it. You just, soft tree becomes easy for you. The, the, white, the, the white man, the white man gonna keep you down. Well, how did I get where I am right now if some white man kept me down? How am I now directing over folks that look just like you guys in this room right now? How? <laughs> what, what, what kept me down? What oppressed me? I work for myself from off the streets to where I am right now. You gonna sit here and tell me this lie a critical race theory? This is the reason why black folks can't get ahead because of white folks? Are you kidding me? This is what we come to now. I can't believe we're even talking about this right now. Mm -hmm. The last thing I'm gonna say right here is something that's crazy. Martin Luther King said he wanted his kids to grow up in a world where they are judged by the contents of their what? Their character, not their skin. If they let this stuff go on right now, it is absolutely doing the complete reverse of what he's doing. So when February comes, don't talk about Martin Luther King. When February comes, don't talk about black kids. The mother dog will sit there and just pee, must pee on his grave with this nonsense. That's exactly what's about to happen. When it all comes down to it, the person that's going to be suffering from this, the ones going to be hurt from this, is the kids. Yeah. Ten years from now, if this stuff goes on, mm -hmm. whose fault is it going to be? Whose fault is it going to be? Who are we going to look back on and blame for this? Because this is stuff we're talking about right now. This stuff is going on right now. I do this stuff on a daily basis. I'm in the hood. I'm in the communities. I'm out there with folks in their face. I've been doing stuff since I was 18 years old, talking to black folks. And you know what? None of them are buying this nonsense. None of them are. But if you want to implement this into the school system, I guarantee you to the day that I die, I'm going to be the very person right there debunking stuff, tearing stuff down, letting them know they can do exactly what I did and get exactly where I am by putting themselves to work and getting there. Ain't that I agree with him. Everything he said, I agree 100%. Like, everything, 100%. Yeah, I don't think anybody should disagree with this. This is the absolute truth. One white person ever don't keep any of them from getting there. So the CRT stuff, BS. Yeah. Because, see, the world sometimes you tend to see see with your experiences. I don't know if that makes sense. So there might be something out there, but just based on how you were raised in your community and the things you've been through, your culture, what other person, what the other person might be seen as an opportunity, you see it as a as an obstacle because you're not just seeing with your eyes, you're not seeing with a clear mind, you're seeing with the whole experience that you were raised with. And I urge everybody, always keep an open mind and you wouldn't be seeing racism and discrimination, even though there is racism and discrimination. Just have that mindset, have this clear mindset.
that was a good video i agree everything 100 percent. let me know what you think if you disagree also let me know and if you think there's something concerning about that video feel free to share in the comment section that being said is the end of this one don't forget to smash the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel i'll catch you on the next video have a wonderful day peace